Hello, Potato. We have come out of the void space today to Denio's. It's called Swap Meat and Farmer's Market now is the actual like proper name of it. You see this Denio's Auction Yard American Memories there, but I think that's just referring to that little area of rust. So um, last week we had like a very warm week, uh, 80s, like low 90s. And that's kind of a warning that, you know, it's going to get very warm very soon. So if we're going to come hit Denio's, now would be a good time to do it before it, uh, it starts to get too hot. So uh, first, let's say I'll just take a look, look at this. So back when I first started coming here, which was like in the 90s, so it's not even really that long ago, there was a lot more of this kind of stuff around the farmer's market area. They actually had like a fenced off area in here with like live goats in it and stuff. It was kind of interesting. But uh, now the, the, the old farm equipment seems to have largely been relegated just to kind of this little this little fenced off area there's a few things like if you look over there i think you can just see if the sun's not glaring too badly in the camera it's like a, a steam powered car or something on top of the uh roof there. we'll take a look at it when we get over there but of course the flea market is the flea market it's where you come to find uh knives and tarps and gun not guns gloves it says gloves or uh funny t-shirts or things that you know may have fallen off the back of a truck. We're looking for stuff though. Uh, I think we need, uh, we're looking for Lego. We're looking for uh, some interesting action figures. I think we're looking for a rake. So uh, we're gonna, gonna look around, see what interesting things you find here at the flea market. We're gonna start over here at the front of it. This is generally where you find more of like the tools and stuff like this and the kind of garage sale-y kind of items. Uh, of course, we'll work our way to the back where there's more food there is the farmer's market area. Got some upcoming events. Oh, they're having an archery range. That's kind of interesting. Huh, if we, get, if we get near that, we'll have to check it out. Probably not actually do it, but check it out. Yeah, if you need, you know, like garden equipment, tools, spray paint of dubious age. This is, uh, you could certainly do worse than come to Denio's. Also, great place for a knockoff Pokemon. So yeah, let's look around Denio's and see what there is to see today. Yeah. Oh, this is iHeart Anime. I think we have to go check that out. Also over here in this, uh, I guess, art booth, we have this wonderful little, I'm guessing, plaster alien. I feel like he would not make it home without that finger getting snapped off. Got tiki. Oh, those skulls are kind of nice. We've got, ooh, Cthulhu. These are pretty cool. Don't know where I'd put them though. I wonder if it's intentional that they've put Cthulhu next to Jesus. It's like somebody's being funny. We have another really cool looking alien in here. It's like strip, we got um, this very wonderful skeleton hand that says that you are indeed number one. I do like the little, they're not tikis, what are they? Are they tikis? The Hawaiian gods. So the young lady running the booth said that they do not allow recording inside of their booth. So uh, she said pictures are okay though. So I'm gonna put in a couple pictures I took inside the booth right here. Okay, so here's that I Love Anime booth. And it's, uh, you know, got some, some strong sack anime vibes. We've got Ned from uh, Obi-Wan. We have the leg of an Adat. Okay. Got Queel. Some Funko Pops. Got 
One Jack from Obi Wan. The uh, plush Lego Voldemort is pretty cool. Yeah, there are some Lego in here as well. Got the Marvel Collector Core boxes. That never really like caught on too well, did it? Not the mama. I think they've expanded their food selection here quite a lot since last time we came. So we have to try some uh, some foods while we're here. We're gonna have to hit the uh, the special gym boys. If it's open, you gotta hit the special gym boys. But uh, we have to hit some of these other places as well. Give them a try. Any Lego over here? No. Bunch of like like Target clearance, Jurassic Park toys. Some fun coke. The problem with those is that they're after too long. They're going to sun bleach, or indeed, I think you can see on Hawkeye here, they've got moisture inside them now, which is probably not going to be good for them in the long term. Plush of Gretzko. Uh, cup noodle, I'm guessing it's Hello Kitty in it. Who knows what treasures we will find today here at the flea market. Like we found our first Lego collection. We said uh, we could do five on it. We have a lot of vintage stuff, so yeah. Get a whole bag of just wheels. I think I actually have the complete version of the set. I think that's more of it there. It's the alien mothership. From Alien Invasion. Got Disney Infinity figures. Of course, I have to look at the games because I'm always looking for that old Xbox or PS2 Fallout game. I'm not going to play it and actually find it because it's, it's not a good game. But if I do find it, I'm going to pick it up. Okay, how much are the bags of Lego? 10 and 10 out of the bag. 10? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think I want to get a bag of Lego, so I'm going to pick up the best one here. Be right back. So, so, the bags of Lego were 10 each. She offered us three for 20, so we did pick up three big zip top, like off brand zip top bags of Lego. I picked out a couple, and I picked out one with lots of like the friends kind of colors. So, uh, I mean, that's a pretty good start. That's a lot of Lego for, for 20 bucks. Certainly better than we did at Brick Palooza. Some more Lego. We got some minifigures. Ooh, those are those, uh, like, those weird, like, Jack Stone ones. Those are interesting. You don't see those very much anymore. And then we have we have more bags of Lego. I feel like this is a this is gonna be a good day for finding Lego stuff. Got Captain America Shield in that one. So gotta gotta keep the control. We're literally on the first aisle. <laughs> right. Don't want to load up with Lego just yet. It's a whole lot more of denials to look at, and uh, I'm already carrying this big old bag of bricks. So yeah, that's a 
Gotta, gotta keep control. We can always come back. We can always come back here to the start if we need to. But uh, gotta, gotta keep things moderated. Perfect for any high school stage production of Sleeping Beauty. Really, it's, it's kind of interesting just the, the sheer amount of things you can find at the flea market. Also, oddly, the, the flea market is an interesting place to find a lot of musical equipment, instruments and like mixing boards, at least I think that's what they are, I don't really know for sure. And of course Hot Wheels, lots of Hot Wheels. When I to KB Toys, the Hot Wheel like collect, no, not, I guess they weren't really collectors, were they? Uh, the Hot Wheel resellers would come in and uh, buy all that stuff up. And we had, we had one person, when one of our stores were going out of business, he, uh, he was, I know he sold here at the Nios because I've I'd actually seen him here a few times and I'd seen our merchandise on his booth. Uh, we had, for some reason, been just sent like 50 cases of these little boxed matchbox cars. They weren't like the kind that you just pegboarded. They actually were in little boxes. And he knew we had them because we didn't put them out because there was, you know, just no need for like 2,000 matchbox cars. But he knew we had them and so when we started going out of business, he wanted to buy all of them. Which is fine, but he's also somebody who uh, would notoriously return things to other stores. So we took the time to, with Sharpies, mark out every single barcode on them so they couldn't be returned. And now you know how petty we were. Spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. I am actually very surprised that that still works. Mm -hmm. But not, not the kind of 12 inch Star Wars figures that I do tend to look for. I mean, you can have them on your shoulder as your conscience. Wow, it is just a mountain of like Happy Meal toys. There's some rescue heroes in there though. And, oh, I, I have or had this one. This is a, was a Tom and Jerry Happy Meal toy. They all came with like a little vehicle or something they like held onto or pushed or something. I remember those not at all clearly, but I know I had him. I don't know how new it is, but they've converted one of the old snack bars into a coffee energy bar, Uplift Coffee Shop. So I think we should uh, maybe get ourselves some caffeine. We've got horchata lattes. Kid fizzes. 
mango smoothies, and of course the standard Denio's snack bar fare. But yeah, I think we should uh, we'll have to try ourselves a coffee here. So let's uh, let's order something, and then we'll take a seat. Here are our drinks from the Uplift Coffee Energy Bar. I decided to try something uh, interesting. Something I tried the horchata latte. And my wife has picked out just a, a normal mocha. They also they had an Aztec mocha. I think if we end up back here again, I will probably try that one. But that is that is a very, very dark mocha. So let's give this a try real quick. I'm gonna try my horchata one first. It's a little, it's not super warm out here, but we did go for iced. Mm, very cinnamony. Basically, it's it's kind of like a, just basically like a cinnamon latte. Well, it's not bad. Here, try. Mm, that's really good. Yeah, the, the very, I expect it to be almost a little bit creamier, but it, it's cinnamon and you can taste the espresso, which is nice. Sometimes in lattes, you know, it, uh, it can, it can be a little more milky than coffee. That's actually quite good. Let's try, let's try the mocha. I'm just expecting from the color. This is going to be very rich. Very, very strongly chocolate, but not bitter. But you can you can definitely feel it has that you know how dark chocolate has almost a almost kind of chalky kind of feel uh, on your tongue. You can feel that it doesn't it doesn't like feel chalky or anything. It's like there's no like grit or anything, but it has that has that dark chocolate feel on your tongue. That's actually I mean especially for being at a flea market, these are actually quite good. So definitely in future trips here, we will have to check them out again, try one of those Aztec mochas. But uh, we're gonna caffeine it up and continue on that long path to the back of the flea market. You can get a minion inspired speaker. Also shiny roses with looks like candy in the bottom. The little lanterns are actually kind of cute. All sorts of weird electronics <laughs> at the flea market, like this little portable karaoke machine with two microphones so you can do duets. I, I, I almost feel like that would be a, a fun thing to try, but yeah. you'd have to like, you have to try it out with like really old songs because otherwise YouTube will absolutely ding you for uh, copyright. <laughs> like a, it's like a kind of like a bottle brush. So here's an example I'm talking about where I say like, you know, you never know what you're going to find here. Look at this, this, I'm assuming stove and oven. It's uh, throwing some very hard fallout vibes. I love that color. O'Keefe and Merritt. I've never heard of that brand. I have a new use in the world in North North the space or something like that. Uh, plus, I mean, it's missing some knobs and stuff. But uh, yeah, some real, real impressive fallout vibes there. I do kind of love it. I had the Mad Magazine board game as a kid. The point of the game is to lose all your money, like the opposite of Monopoly. It's actually, it's not a bad game if you can find all the pieces for it. Much. Come to that. Ah, oh, the price tag's not rateable. Well, I'm not gonna buy it anyways. I'm gonna guess probably somewhere around 30 though, because that's asking for like 221 B Baker Street and Payday's 25. So probably more than I'm doing to spend on it anyhow. But so I haven't seen that game 
in a long, long time. Do you have a liar in your life? Here's the bench for them. Their own liar's bench. I'm guessing that's some sort of like timeout thing. And then this is a uh, super interesting. I'm assuming it's just resin, but uh, definitely interesting. No prices though. This is the sort of booth that uh, you probably just make an offer at. Need some big water tanks. I feel like these are maybe not meant to be sold. That looks like these are perhaps leased from somewhere, but hey, it's here now. And you know, you can you can put your uh, you can have your rain gutters drain into that and then use that to water your plants during other parts of the year. Defray your water costs a little bit, just a bit, just for a while. If you live at the corner of Avalon and Highway 26, I have found your missing street sign. Just, you can just make your own handicap parking place wherever you go. We have lots of rocks and something that is very much not a rock. He looks a little, a little hot. Oh, that one's interesting. So there was no good deals? Basically, yeah, so little that, one. That's awesome. So if it's a bear and it's a bench, is it a bear bench? A lot of people don't realize it, but the flea market's actually a really good place to buy pot. Big, big amounts of pot. You could, you could probably cook a child in that, or, or use it as a, like a child's hot tub. Uh, you could cook a child standing up in that one. It may not be the turtle upon whose back the world rests, but your butt can. Oh look, it's the first pieces for a giant chess set. Okay, so this smells actually quite good. Then we're going to try out Bendito and Tosho Pollos Asados. So it's uh, chicken and then you got beans and rice as well. So I think we'll have to maybe grab ourselves a two-piece combo to split or something and and check it out. Let's uh, let's get some chicken. <laughs> we went ahead and ordered a two-piece combo from Bendito and Tosho's a Pollo Asado, and uh, we have got our food now. We also ordered some extra tortillas. They're not on camera, but they're, they're over here. Because the uh, tortilla, not only is the chicken being made fresh, but the tortillas are as well. I don't know if you can see it in the video. I shot a little bit of the uh, cooking, but they're making tortillas fresh over there too. So in here we have our tortillas. We have some salad. And then we have two pieces of chicken, some beans, some rice, some very, uh, very wet looking beans, which looks good. And uh, our salad has a big old piece of lime on it. So I guess let's put some on. I think it's for that or for the chicken? Probably for the chicken. For the chicken? I'll put a little on the chicken then. And we'll try all of this. So let's uh, let's start with doing the whole point of the chicken, right? Let's start with the piece of the chicken. Now I'm, an, I'm not a big fan of eating chicken off of the bone generally, so 
this is a a little something for me. We'll have to use the yeah, we'll use the spoon to. There are no knives included, just a fork and a spoon. I figure the spoon's mostly for the beans, but all right. Could be the chicken there. Mm, really good. Very smoky. Tender, not dry at all. It's really good. Let's try some of the rice. Nice flavor, maybe a little, a little bit chickeny, maybe. Which really makes sense. It's a chicken place. Good, not not overly flavored, not spicy or anything, but but good. And let's try some of those beans. Now, realistically, I'm probably won't turn the camera off. Going to mix some beans and some rice and put them in a tortilla and make myself a little burrito. But let's try some of the right beans on its own. Maybe a little salty. Not not bad. And there's a little extra some other flavor in there. I mean, probably probably lard, but. Maybe a little salty, but I think if you mix them with the rice, it's gonna be fine. Those are really good. They're good. They're just a, a tiny bit salty, and then we're getting out a fresh tortilla here. Let's uh, tear off a hunk of that. Yeah, they're making these fresh, like, while you watch. So let's give that a try. A little thicker than a, a normal, like, store-bought tortilla. Not overly corny. But it's there, but it doesn't like taste like as strongly of corn as a lot of like store-bought ones do. Let's try it with a little, a little beans and rice. So again, that's probably the way I'm gonna eat mine. All right, there we go. Yep, that works really well. Yeah, it's quite good. Wanna try some? Right there. Can get a little bean, some rice. See, now the reason we're splitting this is because uh, there are some other food places. We're, not, we're only halfway through, and the food court's at the other half of the uh, the the center here. So uh, there'll probably be at least one more food spot in this video. But what do you think? Really good. It's a good, it definitely work really well together. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy our. Uh, Oh, got salsas. I should try some of the salsa. I was gonna, gonna, gonna end off here, but yeah, let's try a little bit of salsa. This is probably the one I think I'm probably going to like the most, the red one. Cause I usually like red sauces more than green ones. Let's go try. Do not try that. <laughs> it's not overly spicy for me, but yeah, you, you are not gonna want that one. So the green one's probably the milder one. Let's try that one. Yeah, that red one's, it's, it's not like, you know, reaper sauce or anything, but it's got definitely got a kick to it. Let's see if, uh, if I think the green is gonna be a little more palatable. Yeah, I think you're safe trying the green. The green one's kind of almost like a little bit sour. I definitely like the red one better. Yeah, go ahead, try it. Go ahead, try it. I think, they, I think you're safe on that one. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's got an interesting flavor to it. See, for me, I'm not tasting the spice because I had that red one first. And yeah, you definitely don't want the red one. Yeah, I think the green one's probably a little bit more your speed. I mean, you can try it if you dare. Okay. So yeah, let's finish our food. And then we have a whole another half of the flea market to check out. We're really only like the halfway point. So let's eat up and then get back on the flea market trail. So I realized that I forgot to try the, the salad. It's just, yeah, it's just like lettuce and cilantro and some cabbage and carrot. And I figured what we're gonna do here, I put it all together into a tortilla. I'm gonna add a little sauce. Not too much, because that actually is a reasonably potent sauce. And let's try it all together. We've uh, kind of tried it all separately. Let's try it all in one bite. All right, let's give it a try.
Got my chicken in there, my beans, my rice. Some salad. Can you really taste the cilantro? Mm -hmm. I actually could use a little bit more hot sauce. I was a, a little too, a little too conservative on that one. But it's good, the, uh, everything blends together into a really nice flavor. The tortillas are nice and soft and fresh. Chicken's really good. Chicken's really good. Yeah. Highly recommend. Yeah, definitely glad we stopped and tried this. Uh, probably will make it a another repeat visit when we come back next time, whenever that'll be. I mean, after all, yeah, we're gonna finish eating our food and then head on to check out the rest of the flea market. I'm very surprised to see this building is completely or almost completely empty. This used to be like for decades, like since we were in the 90s, this has always been a furniture shop. And then back then there used to also be a comic book store in that corner where they're storing stuff out so that booth isn't open, I guess it's a clothing booth now. But there was predominantly furniture in here. And there was like an Avon booth right there, and then that was the comic shop. And then even last time we came in, that was like the knockoff Lego minifigure booth. They were, I think, the same people that have one of the minifigure booths at SAC Anime regularly. And now, for the first time I, ever in my coming here, in like 30-odd years of coming here, this building is totally empty. So, I guess I mean, there was never anything particularly interesting in there with the furniture anyways. But, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's gone now. I guess somebody finally got out of the very interesting furniture business. Okay, can someone in the comments please explain it? Because I, I've seen a number of pieces of, we'll call it art here, like this. Why are we putting the Joker in with mobsters? I mean, I can accept the the mix of real and fictitious ones, like we have Cor Don Corleone and we have Scarface now, along with Al Capone and, and El Chapo. But why is why is this comic book supervillain being put in with mobsters? He's not a mobster. I saw another one referred to him as as a narco, and I haven't watched the uh, the Christopher Nolan. Batman movies in a while, but I don't recall him being a narcotics dealer in those movies. I get, 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 someone's explaining in the comments why the Joker is a, is a mobster. Also, looks like we have a Fiona from Shrek. You can get your own Euro or Shawarma rack here. That's pretty cool. I do actually, I, I don't, I don't hate that wooden cactus. That's actually pretty neat. And they have, I guess it's for burning incense in it, but I wonder what it's supposed to look like. It looks like it's supposed to look like something else. But I, I lack the, the knowledge of what it is. We have some giant cooking implements over here. And like a big, like a big, big grill table. Pretty neat. Judges, this is going to be a very hard decision for you to make. All right, so if you are done, it looks like they're doing some sort up. of like All right. costume thank contest so here. Let's uh, maybe so check this out. Waffles. Let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we have contestant number five and contestant number six. Okay, so first we have Dr. Jumba, who is a French bulldog. And his fun fact is he is secretly a tiger. And then we have Professor Pleakley, another French bulldog, who's actually a cheetah. Now check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Their stripes and their spots are completely animal friendly. And actually, I got a chance to talk to the owners earlier. These dogs are six months old, and it's your groomer that did this, right? Okay, so what was the inspiration behind making them into a tiger and a cheetah? Their personalities. Their personalities, I love it so much. So again, 
Check it out. We've got the tiger and the cheetah. Again, Professor Pleakley and Dr. Jumba. So if you guys could do a little spin for the judges. They're following the food judges. They want to make sure that they get that little treat right there. I love it so much. What do you guys all think? Yeah, give a round of applause. This is definitely an A for creativity. I love it so much. These dogs walked in earlier and they were so cute. It's hard, it's hard not to want to take all these dogs home, ladies and gentlemen. All right, contestant number seven is Danette's dog. This is Roxy, a dash hound. Okay, so a fun fact about Roxy, Roxy loves celery and she loves to taste, not eat. She loves to taste lizards. Oh, Chase, oh, Chase, it's Chase, not taste, it's Chase. <laughs> All right, so tell us about Roxy's look today. I love all American dog. Roxy might not want to run in this presidential race. So ladies and gentlemen, there she is right there. Roxy, all American. All American by American. Let's do a little spin for Roxy, please. Let's give her a little spin. Let's give her a little spin for the judges. Judges, I do not know how you're going to make your decision because this is going to be a hard one for you. There she is right there, Roxy, all American. Love it. Thank you so, so much. Yes, let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Louis loves the so a dog costume. They really have changed he loves going to the flea market house. in the like last oh, few years from being just a flea market to being have a more of a place to come and spend the day. Like the last time we were here, these weren't here yet. Uh, we have some carnival rides now. It's a very small, like very kiddie carnival ride, but I mean, that's still kind of cool. And obviously all the kids who are riding them do seem to be enjoying them. I don't think I've ever seen a Halloween variant of a teacup ride before, so that's cute. It's very much now more of a place that you can kind of spend the day as a family instead of just a place to come and buy like garage sale stuff and fresh vegetables. So yeah, it's, it's really like I think trying to be more of a a part of, of a, like a part of the community and they, they've been here for what was it, like almost 70 years now because I want to say a couple well, last year I think we came we got the 65th anniversary keychain yeah. that was part of why we came in the last Denios video uh, which was yeah at least a year ago so yeah it's a it's nice to see them pivoting with the times We were told to look out for this. Uh, the celebrate, I guess Celebrations is all, as you can see, it, they rent party supplies. We were told to come look out for this because they were like a, selling off a lot of their old stuff. I don't know if there's anything that we need there, but uh, we were encouraged by the coffee place to come check them out and see what they had. So we'll, we'll do that when we swing back around to that side of the aisle. Yeah, it looks like they're selling off all of their old like tablecloths. That uh, kind of beigey purple one's kind of interesting. And place settings and chairs. So I guess there's all stuff you could have like rented out for your, your weddings or quinceaneras or parties. And now if you, you, know, you saw a piece you liked, you can own it. Definitely interesting pieces. Plates and stuff are nice. Don't know anything anything necessarily that we need in this, but it's really worth checking out. Got napkins and runners. Kind of got like a spider web vibe going, vibe going on this one. The neon ones are definitely eye-catching. I think anything I can use, but uh, still cool stuff. Anchor. 
All right, let's give it up for Roxy here. All right. And Roxy's mom even has I Love My Dash Hound shirts. All right, so if you could look up here, you and all the kiddos for your winner's photos. Ladies and gentlemen, meet our 2024 costume contest number one winner, Roxy. Roxy, Roxy the Dash the Hound. Dash Hound. All right, thank you so much, and thank you, Roxy. We appreciate it. Congratulations on your title. I wonder what emergency it's from. Giving off some more fallout vibes, we have some emergency drinking water. The 30 year life, which looks like it was manufactured in 2012. So it's still got about half of its life left on it. So, you know, I mean, it would literally just take up space on a shelf, but it's, it definitely, again, gives out some of those uh, cool fallout vibes. Again, the kind of thing you do, just weird stuff you can find at the flea market. Are you missing any back issues of Trains Magazine? Because I think they have like the whole run here. But also, Railroad Fan. So that's uh, that sounds good. I mean, you know, these two magazines for everybody. Look, the old, the old McDonald's teeny beeny babies. Are you old enough to remember those and what a big deal they were? What would you find? A bookshelf full of cabbage. A bookshelf full of naked Cabbage Patch Kids. I am old enough that I had one of those uh, back in what 84, 85. When I was a little kid, I did have a Cabbage Patch Kid. So we had some Japanese manga. We've got, I think that's Little House on the Prairie back there in the yellow box. Those are pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, AR-15 lighters. There's a fire extinguisher lighter. That's kind of kind of cute. That one is really nice. Cool. It's filled up. You can refill it and adjust it as well. Thank you. Is there cutting, brother? Pardon? <laughs> So here's an archery place we saw a sign for on the way in. They are appointment only. So we take a look in there. Could be a fun thing to try out sometime. Oh look, you can see better here where the glass ends. Yeah, that could be a could be a fun thing to do sometime. I don't think I've shot a bow and arrow since like the county fair when I was a very, very small child. So this place has been here, I think, for a bit. I mean, it's been other things too, you can tell from the sign, but it's Montiel's Woodfire Pizza. So uh, we're not totally full yet from the chicken. So let's, let's, let's try out a wood-fired pizza. It's got a little, little pepperoni here. So here is our Montiel's wood-fired pizza. We just got a mini one because uh, we've already had some chicken and stuff and we're still gonna probably get some tacos maybe to go or something. But uh, we wanted to try the wood-fired pizza. Like, they've been here for a while, I think, but we've never tried them before. Uh, but they are, you know, legitimately, it's uh, one of those big like stone cement ovens with blocks of wood in it cooking the food. So we would give it a try. It also smells very, very yeasty over by their uh, there went, ooh, that is, that is a uh, crispy. The little bubble there of dough, it's very crispy. Very cheesy. They're a little sparing on the sauce as I watched them putting them together. So if you're not somebody who's like really, really into a lot of sauce, this is probably going to be a plus for you. 
But yeah, it's very fresh, very hot, fresh out of the oven. You can see the steam, even though it's kind of warm out here, you can see steam coming off of this. So uh, let's give it a chance. We've got pepperoni, just basic. They have other ones with like buffalo chicken and like avocado and stuff on them, but I thought we'd go basic. Let's give it a try. Try these. Get a good cheese stretch. Even though they were pretty sparing on the sauce, I, it is still pretty good flavorful. Good flavor of the sauce. Uh, definitely nice cheese. Got a really good cheese stretch because it's you know fresh out of the oven. And the crust is pretty good. Good, chewy, bready crust. Not overly salty or anything. What do you think? Good. I mean, now, they're a little pricey. Uh, this uh, mini pizza was $9. But just as, you know, a little a little snack along the way it was pretty good. Again, it's a thing I've, we never tried before. Uh, I would definitely I would definitely try them again. Mm -hmm. Maybe try one of, like, the meat lovers or something a little, a little more different. But yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Denios, the farmer's market section where you can get teas and spices and nuts and caramel corns and of course lots and lots of vegetables. So let's finish off our trip here to Denios by checking out the farmer's market. Okay well this is new the crawler party so it's like you get little little radio controlled rock crawlers to drive around on their little terrain that's that's I would have been, enjoyed that when I was a little kid
Detroit looks like they are open, so let's head over to the special gym boys and get some tacos. Not really for part of the video, just uh, because if you're gonna come to Denial's, you gotta go over to the special gym boys. Special because they only sell the tacos. Okay, so we have got our special Jim Boys tacos. We're now heading back through Denio's. And again, the, the odd combination of, of mobsters, the Joker, and now Marilyn Monroe. So we'll head back out to the car, do a quick little haul portion. We bought a few things, see all what we bought. And then I guess we will uh, end this video. Hi. Hello. You know what, it's a long walk back to the car and uh, we found a place that we somehow didn't, didn't run into. I think we somehow skipped this entire section on the way in. But uh, yeah, we found a, a spot we hadn't seen before. Sweets and sugars, ice cream, espados and desserts. So uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get some ice cream. Let's go get some ice cream. So I didn't actually go with ice cream. I went with uh, more of the sweets and sugars part. I picked up churro cheesecake, which appears to be a like cinnamon cheesecake with strawberries, chocolate sauce, and looks like some sort of uh, like probably um, condensed milk or something on there. Sweet and condensed milk, I'm guessing. And my wife, she did go for ice cream. She picked the churros and ice cream. Also strawberries, some more of that chocolate, some caramel on there. And of course, what feels like they were warm when they handed it to me, fresh churro, and then she picked up mint chip ice cream. So I'm gonna have a still bite of hers first. Maybe. Can I borrow your spoon? Yep. Again, much like the uh, chicken asada place, no knives. I'm not quite sure how you're meant to eat a churro with a spoon. Got a little, little ice cream there, strawberry, try the whole thing. Churro's nice and chewy. Strawberry is very juicy. I'm not a, not a humongous fan of strawberry, but it's pretty good. Uh, it's got a good, a good churro flavor, even with the strawberry on there. The churro does shine through on that. All right, let's try some churro cheesecake. Get a piece of cheesecake, some more strawberry. Get a little of that cream on there. All right. The cheesecake has an interesting texture. It's, um, it's not quite as, I mean, it looks like it would be, it doesn't feel quite as like smooth as a lot of cheesecakes would be. It's a drier cheesecake. It's got actually a very mellow flavor. The cinnamon is not really, really strong on it. But it's pretty good. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a weaker flavored cheesecake than I was expecting. And it's not as cinnamon as I was expecting, but it's still pretty good. Dig in. Yeah, I'm not, not quite sure how you're meant to eat the churros. What do you think? Good. You want to try the cheesecake? No. Okay. It's definitely interesting, definitely a little different. Uh, I'm going to back. They have, a, they have a wide variety of interesting looking things on the menu. So we may have to come back and try them again in the future. We have to come back and try a lot of the things we tried today. Try some of the other stuff they make in future videos. Okay, let's finish up our dessert here and head on out to the car. 
So we're back now at the car and we'll go over just real quickly what we picked up today. So we picked up a new cart. Uh, sadly, we did not get far enough to see that there were ones that had wheels on the front that rotated, but we, we forgot to bring our cart with us. Plus the one that we have already is like 20 years old. So we picked up a new one of those. So that's uh, nice and new. We got our three for 20 big gallon size bags of Lego. We've got our eight extra crispy gym boy tacos for later on. There'll be dinner there. I used to, when I was younger, all the time here, buy cigarette lighters, but they don't, much like pewter figurines, you don't see them around here so much anymore, but we did see a booth that had some, uh, and uh, I thought this one was cute. It was mostly guns, but I thought this was cute. It is a fire extinguisher lighter. It was five bucks, so why not? From one of the plant booths, we picked up what was labeled as a crown of thorns. So it could use with a little bit of watering, but she actually grow, grows these off of the mother plant right there in that booth. She showed us the mother plant that this came from. So we'll go home, put that maybe in a bigger pot, get it some water. My wife found some new sunglasses because she was running low. Uh, you buy sunglasses at the flea market because they're cheap and you're going to lose them or break them anyways. Why spend $100 on something that you're going to end up ruining or losing anyhow? And then finally, we did stop at one of the booths selling crystals and picked up, my wife chose out this for, I think it was $5, this blue crystal. I have no idea what kind of crystal it is. And while the gentleman there was very interesting and had uh, interesting things to say, not many of them were actually about the crystals he was selling, but definitely looks interesting. And then we also picked up a little carved stone cat and a little carved stone mushroom you know kind of like the uh the mushrooms i picked up at the uh, anime show but this one's made out of stone instead of out of uh like plastic so that is our trip to denios we are done with them for another visit we may actually have to come back uh pretty quickly probably won't be in a video but there's some other stuff here we got to look for, you know. Uh, it's been too long since we came last time. We should come back again before too long. And uh, But that is wrap this up. I thank you for joining us here at Denio's Bargain Market and Swap Meat or Swap Meat and Farmer's Market, whatever it's called now, the Denio's Flea Market. I thank you for joining us here. I hope you found it at all interesting or entertaining. If you did, go ahead, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.